What is up guys? Welcome back. I'm Charles, MX Revival, MXRevival.com, and I have been a busy boy working on Project Thundercracker here. Let's see, what did I do between now and last video? I went ahead and smashed all your steering stem races back into the frame. I pressed in brand new linkage bearings, went ahead and pressed the steering stem back into your freshly coated triple clamps, and then of course all the bearings got a nice glob of waterproof grease. This bike is looking amazing once parts are finished, like the bearings in the swing arm for example. I'll go ahead and slide them onto the frame, get a good look at everything. Man, it gets me so pumped. All the sear coat looks incredible against the gloss white powder coat. This is called Glock Gray if you guys are interested in trying to do a similar or the same color. Regardless, Sano will know what to do when you send him your parts. You guys already know I was trying to go for like an RMZ or Suzuki Gray, but what's really cool about this Glock Gray is it has the slightest hue of navy blue in it and it really, really pops off the white. One of my favorite parts so far is all of the freshly plated zinc hardware, all the bolts that go through the linkage, all the stuff in the bolt pro pack. It just looks incredible against this gray color and it's going to add a really cool touch to the bike throughout. There's going to be some really cool zinc touches you guys haven't seen yet coming up throughout the engine and other parts of the bike as well. Stuff you don't see that often if you've ever even seen it at all on an MX bike so I'm really pumped to show you guys that stuff. That's all coming in future episodes. So what the hell are we doing in today's video? I'd be willing to bet some of you are pretty anxious and you want to know if you won last week's giveaway announcement and so I'm going to go ahead and announce that right now. So guys if you're one of my lucky winners first off huge congrats to you guys. Second your names will be in the description below. Third, I will always send you an email if you're one of my winners, so be sure to check your email and your spam folder just in case. And then fourth, and probably most importantly, two of you guys won brand new Bolt Motorcycle Hardware Pro Packs. Doesn't matter what kind of bike you ride, Bolt's got you covered. I use these on literally every single one of my bike builds and they are incredible, so congratulations to you two. And then two more of you guys won the ceramic coatings for your brakes. Two of you guys are gonna be able to send your complete braking systems, front and rear master cylinder, front rear caliper out to Sano Metal Finishing. Sano is hooking you guys up with complete brake system beautification. He's gonna go ahead and ceramic coat with Cerakote your braking systems. So huge congrats to the four of you guys. Thank you for being a part of this contest. You make it what it is. I'm really pumped on this giveaway. And don't worry, there's another one coming in a minute. If you guys didn't win this giveaway, I'd still love it if you had time to check out Bolt Motorcycle Hardware and Sano Metal Finishing. They are making this contest so much more special than I can do on my own. So again, guys, congratulations. That's a pretty big win and let's get into the rest of today's video. If you guys still haven't entered to win one of these giveaways and the bike, you are totally missing out. I have so much more cool shit coming, but you can't win if you don't enter. You know what to do, mxrevival.com, make it happen. Your donation, of course, benefits my boy Cameron, who is battling cancer and road recovery. We're helping out Fallen MX Heroes. So you can win a bike, you can win cool stuff, you help Cameron, you help road recovery, and in the very worst possible case, you still donated to a really cool cause. So I appreciate you guys, because you're the ones that are making this thing epic. And you already know, I've pulled out all the stops on this bike build for you. So today and for my next giveaway, I have four new winners. So between now and the next Thundercracker video, four of you guys are gonna win some cool ass shit. I'm probably getting pretty close to 20 or so winners by now in MX products. So I'm really happy about that. This has been awesome so far. And so now that we have our triple clamps mounted up, we've got everything back from Sano. They look amazing on the white powder coated frame. I'm able to mount our handlebars. And you guys know I don't open packages without you. So let's go ahead and see what we got from our boy Jason Gerald over at Phoenix Handlebars. Jason's been an amazing sponsor for a lot of my past bike builds. T1000, you guys probably all saw that. It's a bar I use personally and really enjoy. So Jason, thank you very much for your continued support and being a part of what I do. And you guys watching probably figured it out. Most of the time, if I'm announcing a sponsor, I'm also announcing a giveaway. Always a very nice designer feel, little gold Phoenix sticker, a black tissue paper. Jason's done an amazing job of branding in my opinion. Ooh yeah. What do we have here, boys and girls? All right, guys, so what we have here is a brand new set of the Phoenix 118s. This is the oversized bar, the inch and an eighth clamping area. And then Phoenix also carries what they call the 78s, which is the smaller 7 8 diameter with the crossbar. The bars have a super nice matte black finish with a little gloss raised logo on them. I think what my favorite part about Phoenix handlebars is that regardless of 118s or 78s, all the bars have the exact same bends and only have different heights. So you have a choice of 70, 80, 90, or 100 millimeters of rise. My personal favorite is the 70s. I really enjoy a low bar, a bar that helps me turn on the motocross track. If I were to use these off-road, I would opt for the 80s. They're a little bit taller, and therefore I can stand up a little more comfortably when I'm on the trails. And so you guys probably guessed it, I'm gonna be giving away two sets of Phoenix handlebars in today's video. If you guys haven't tried these yet, you really need to. You can check them out at phoenixhandlebars.com or mxrevival.com. We also carry Jason's Phoenix handlebars. These are gonna look amazing on the bike, so we're gonna go ahead and get these 
mounted up and that will segue perfectly into the next giveaway which coattails these bars. One more sick little detail is that as this bike build moves forward, Jason has been helping me out with custom bar pads. So I'll be able to show you guys that in a little bit as the project moves forward. If you end up winning this bike, you're gonna have a bar pad that matches your graphics in some way, shape or form. So really cool touch. And Jason, I appreciate you. Thank you for everything you do. Thank you for your continued support. Thank you for hooking my riders up with bars in this week's giveaway. And I promised you guys I'd be back in that Bolt Motorcycle Hardware Pro Pack. The Pro Pack had all the bolts I needed to go ahead and mount the bars in these freshly coated triple clamps. That thing's going to be saving my ass the whole way through this build. Alright guys, so my next giveaway comes all the way from the East Coast from my buddy Tom at ZRT Throttle, aka Zero Resistance Throttle. Let's see what he sent us. Tom, I almost cut this shirt in half right now. Got that ZRT swag. Oh nice, I got me a big old ZRT sticker. Thanks Tom. And here we have it, the ZRT itself. Guys, if you're not familiar with this yet or didn't see it in the T1000 build or on my RMZ in previous videos, you are in for a treat. I like the new packaging, Tom, that it used to come shrink wrap. So guys, feast your eyes on the shit that I just dumped on the floor. Let's try that again. So guys, feast your eyes on the ZRT throttle. This is a badass billet aluminum CNC cut throttle tube. And what makes it really special are the bearings in each end. This throttle rides on bearings both left and right sides and so it never actually physically touches your handlebars. And because of that, there's also no drag. So this thing always feels buttery smooth. I've been using one about two years, maybe a little more on my RMZ450. I've crashed it, it doesn't break, it's super tough and it still rolls like brand new. In fact, it may roll even better now that it's broken in. These throttles come with a bunch of different collets to fit a bunch of different style handlebar ends so if your handlebar end is a little more closed or open than another brown there's a special collet or insert for it there's even an option for you guys to run bark thrusters if you're an off-road or woods guy and so the only real caveat to the ZRT is that you actually have to trim your handlebar just a little bit in order to run it because when you install one of the collets or inserts into the end of your handlebars they actually gain a little bit of length you wouldn't want to have one side of your bars a little bit longer than the other side so yet another badass product that is going into your Thundercracker YZ250 build. Whoever wins this bike, I already envy you. So much rad shit on this build and I'm barely even getting started. You got a freshly powder coated white frame, brand new serial code across the board, zinc plated hardware, Bolt Motorcycle Hardware Pro Pack, engine kit. You haven't seen that yet. Oh, I can't wait to show you all the other stuff. And then of course we've got the new Phoenix handlebars and the ZRT throttle. Guys, I'm just barely scratching the surface on this build. Oh yeah, and when you're done installing your ZRT throttle, you can go ahead and crack a beer with the insert install tool. Nice touch, Tom. So guys, in addition to the Phoenix handlebar giveaway which is happening right now with the drop of this episode two more of you guys are also winning zrt throttles so i've got four new winners i'm really pumped you guys are going to love this if you guys haven't tried one of these yet and you make the switch it will be the last throttle you ever run i can guarantee you that guys maybe the only problem with the giveaways i'm doing between videos is that you only have one week to enter because i typically drop a video every saturday so you need to get your asses over to mx revival and enter to win these micro giveaways and of course the bike right about now i'm wishing i can enter myself so guys i think that wraps it up for today Today's video this is episode four if you guys missed previous episodes you can go ahead and check out the playlist for this bike I'll leave it in the description below and guys I really want to thank you very much for helping me grow this channel I feel like right now it's going through a pretty rapid growth period and that gets me super excited super pumped to do these builds I want to thank you for helping me help Cameron and road to recovery it's a really big deal that you guys would be so generous I don't take it lightly and in the next couple episodes I should be getting into either the engine or the suspension and you're not going to miss either one of those and you're also not going to want to miss the next giveaway I have on deck. Thanks for being a part of the build. Thanks for cheering me on. Thanks for all the encouragement. Thanks for entering the build. And until next time, shred safe, and I will see you soon.